welcome to a new video. I'm gonna try today and paint a Studio Ghibli scene, which unfortunately I have no idea what Studio Ghibli is, but I really like the art that people are creating based on it and I seen some scenes that were just looking amazing, so... So it is finally time to educate myself and see what it is all about and try to paint something. But first, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow my little uh, business here. And and I just see that a lot of you that are watching the videos are not a subscriber. So it would really, really help me a lot. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, it looks like it's an animation studio from Japan, uh, which is what I suspected based on the videos I saw on YouTube of people painting. And they create all sorts of like movies, animated movies, and I really love the style. The characters are super cute and the backgrounds are really nice. Okay, so I found a few references that I liked, mostly from this uh, Totoro movie and the secret word of variety um, and i think i'm gonna start with something simple like this uh, fence with like a gate and flowers around and then maybe i would go a little bit out of my comfort zone and try to make one with characters maybe this one or I really like that one, but this is really out of the comfort zone. <laughs> but well, let's start with the first simple one. So what I normally do is I'm putting like the basic hues and values and doing the like only first layer with gouache but this time I decided to like push it a little bit further and paint the entire thing without using uh, pencils or wax pastels. I get a little bit encouraged when <laughs> I painted the Hobbit house and it really turned out great so I decided to give it a try again and uh, even for this sketchbook piece try to finish everything off with just paint. The first few layers always look really bad and discouraging and <laughs> I was really questioning what I'm doing uh, here, but after adding more and more layers, uh, it started to taking a shape, a proper shape of something. I've started with darker tones and building my way up to the lighter ones. I found this a little bit easier to work this way for me. This is probably why I prefer gouache over watercolors uh, because I can like put lighter shades at the end. I actually enjoy the process. It took a very long time. The entire painting took me like three hours, I think, which would normally with finishing it with pencils 
uh, take only like half an hour to an hour mostly uh, because it was quite simple but I'm happy I've tried it and I'm happy with the result. The Studio Ghibli scenes are actually very pretty and I would like to do some more in the future because they are quite an inspiration to paint. I just wish I could learn to paint all the plants a little bit differently because now I think most of them look exactly the same uh, so I should probably learn how to paint different shapes of leaves and stuff like that. Okay, so it was time for a second one and I was super scared of painting it because I haven't painted anything like that for a very long time and even if I did, I would normally do it on the iPad where I can zoom in and out and change, choose different brushes and change colors easily and work on layers, but here um, I had to be very careful with everything I did and take it slowly and focus on little details and just have fun with it. It actually turned out way better than I expected and I'm quite happy and 
And now it's time to finish it off with pencils and wax pastels. <laughs> this makes me scared again. <laughs> I mean, it, need, it needs details, but I am super afraid I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> Especially the little girl, which now is not looking that great and really needs to... And really needs a lot of finishing up, but... <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, it's basically done. Uh, the one hard thing is that there are some Japanese sign on the road sign, which there's no way I can draw, and I'm a little bit afraid to draw something, something like inappropriate, or I don't know if I try to copy it, but I guess I have to put something in there. Um, and the other thing is rain, which I have to put all over the page, which is super scary because it can destroy it all. But so far it looks great. I actually added a little bit of myself here because I didn't want it to be like this anime style, uh, but more of my style, so the girl isn't like copied from the reference but it's more adapted to the things I do <laughs> to the sign this really isn't something easy <laughs>
Okay, both of them are ready. The rain didn't turn out that great, but it's also not so bad, so <laughs> it can be. And uh, for the sign, I just tried to copy it, but also did some random lines, so <laughs> excuse me if there is something really bad written here or nothing at all. <laughs> but yeah, I am extremely happy of the final result. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye!